enforcement and the African American community. Dozens gathered in Eastley today for a day full of fun with several members of the police department and the sheriff's office there. Organizers say that with all the negativity around the country lately surrounding law enforcement and interactions with the African American community, they will show officers in a more positive light. When I was growing up, we were afraid of the police. The police here show that they support us, but most they support the neighborhood. That you can call on them more than just for like somebody breaking in your house or something. They are there to help you in all kinds of ways. Today's event featured food, live entertainment, and even a water slide, which you saw just a little bit earlier. Well, happening now, it's a food that's been popular for centuries, and it's almost a Mandicator has more from Eastley. Here at New Deliverance Church, the pastor says half his congregation is either homeless or can't afford to heat their home. Two of the parishioners are currently staying at the church on King Street because they have nowhere else to go. Pastor Tracy Gant says there isn't a place that's close by. He's hoping to get officials involved in opening a shelter that would also help rehabilitate those in need. He and his wife went before Easley City Council, and there's a long-range plan to make something happen, but he says it's needed now. We're just trying to get a building, you know, a building where they can not, they ain't got a living, just come in and get out of the cold. You know, take a shower, change clothes, feel like you're somebody again. Gant says he knows very well what it's like not to have a home. He's an ex-gang member who used to have a drug habit, but says he got a second chance and some <laughs> hope from the faith-based shelter in Anderson called Haven of Rest. And he'd like something similar in Easley. And coming up tonight at 6, where this pastor plans to take his plea for help now. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Easley. Nonprofit needs your help this Christmas. They're helping kids with incarcerated mommies that have something to wake up to on Christmas morning. Here to tell us more about their Prison Mommies program, Pastor Tracy and First Lady Sunshine Gant. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for having me. What made you guys want to start this? Obviously, I mean, in that story, when you hear that story, you obviously want to help. Exactly. It actually started with my husband, um, our prison ministry. Mm -hmm. um, he corresponds with the male inmates, and I correspond with the female inmates. So one day I received a letter from a female inmate, and she was asking for Christmas help to buy presents for her children. And I, I imagine that touches you in a special way. So, so tell us what you've done and how we can help you with this. Well, we've actually, um, we reached out to several prisons and we've received a ton of uh, mail mm -hmm. from these inmates requesting gifts for their children. Um, we have a few upstate businesses that are actually participating in the program with us, accepting gifts on our behalf. So those are drop spots and we're taking a look at some of the video and it seems like uh, at least a couple of them have really full and you really like to see the bins that are full. Exactly. Um, so let's go through a couple of those um, locations so people know they're, they're kind of spread out. Exactly. Um, one location is Sassy Nails in Powdersville, mm -hmm. and then um, another location is Above and Beyond Care Services on Chick Springs Road, mm -hmm. and I believe it's Taylor's. Um, we have the Antique uh, Barn in Moonville, and then we have another location that we just added this morning, mm -hmm. and that's uh, Buck and Moore Ministry and Thrift Store, and their address is Washington Avenue. So Greenville. all those locations will be accepting toys, so bring them by new unwrapped toys? Yes. So bring those by. And also you have an event tomorrow for this, a big toy drive in case you can't make it to those locations. Tell us about that. That's actually going to be located at our church. It's mm -hmm. New Deliverance Baptist Church and it's uh, 106 King Street in Easley and it starts at 4. And Tracy, t tell me, what does this make you feel uh, when, you, when you know that these, these children who are missing their mom already, um, they're going to be able to wake up on Christmas and have some, some things under the tree? See, our main thing is letting God get the glory. And then what will bring the kids more glory is, even though their mothers are in prison, that their mother can reach out and give them a present. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that that brings joy to the world. <laughs> that, and that's what this that season is, joy, is yes. all about. We're going to put their information at our website. Again, that's happening tomorrow at New, Deliver De New Deliverance Baptist Church in Easley. And we'll put that information for you. Be sure to go to their Facebook page as well if you want more information. There's my little banner there. Thank you guys so much for doing that. <laughs> this is a great program, so definitely go out and support it. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for having us. Of course.
Firefighters are teaming up with the community, getting kids the supplies they need, but not, but might not be able to afford. Yeah, this is actually a two-day event. Today and tomorrow, Tracy and Sunshine Gantt Ministries, along with local law enforcement, are working to get students ready for their first day of school and having some fun there. Volunteers were out at Hope Field giving out free school supplies and backpacks. The ministry's founders say this is a great way to show local officers in a positive light. We are trying to bring the city of Easley back together. And that's why we invite the police station, the fire department. But what we really want to do is help these kids get a book bag, get school supplies, so they can be fully ready to go back to school. And this is pretty neat. Tomorrow, Tracy and Sunshine Ministries are partnering up with a local cosmetology school, giving children free haircuts ahead of their first day, make it look good. It'll be from 2 until 6 at the Upstate College of Cosmetology in Easley. And in Anderson County, an Upstate organization is... Several stylists and barbers volunteered their time on Sunday and provided the services for free. Members of the Tracy and Sunshine Gantt Ministries partnered with the Upstate College of Cosmetology in Easley to put on this event. Together, they helped about 80 kids. It's overwhelming, because um, our main thing is doing for the community and giving back. And to be able to partner with such an awesome school and to get this done, it's just it's an overwhelming feeling. This is the first year organizers held that event. They say they're looking forward to helping even more kids next year. And today, giving kids confidence on their very first day. Tracy and Sunshine Gantt Ministries, along with local barbers and hairstylists, were all at the Upstate College of Cosmetology and easily today, giving students free haircuts, giving them some style. Volunteers say that some parents couldn't afford that, you know, that service normally can be a little stressful, but not just for them, but also for the kids. Organizers say being able to help in that situation just feels amazing. It's overwhelming. Because um, our main thing is doing for the community and giving back. And to be able to partner with such an awesome school and to get this done, it's just it's an overwhelming feeling. And this is actually day two of the Ministries Back to School event. Yesterday they teamed up with local law enforcement to give kids free school supplies. And other community members are have been doing to help those kids get ready. back can be exciting and a stressful one but ready or not for many upstate students like third grader trinity mays the first bell rings for class monday morning confidence and give every student the chance for the best first day yet. The Tracy and Sunshine Gantt Ministry teamed up with the Upstate College of Cosmetology to give dozens of kids free haircuts. We've been without, so we know what it's like to struggle and to be, you know, have hard times and we just want to be able to give back. The day before, they gave hundreds of students free backpacks and school supplies. They're one of several Upstate organizations reaching out to send our students back to class with the necessary tools. Everybody love a fresh start and a fresh haircut and a fresh hairdo that's getting fully ready for school. They hope the kids' new looks, bags, and writing utensils will be just what the students need for the start to a successful year. It's good to give back to the community. It's so lovely to see these kids' faces and see them come in and then we're, we're like, it's like a change for them, for, for them to go back to school with. As for Trinity, after this weekend, she says she's ready to hit the books. Christine Brown, 7 News. This is a WIFF4 editorial. Speaking on behalf of the editorial board is President and General Manager John Humphreys. Over the past week and a half, the Southeast has dealt with the effects of yet another storm that brought high winds, heavy rain, and loss of life and property. Two years ago, in October, it was record flooding that inundated the Midlands and Low Country. Last year was the devastating impact of Hurricane Matthew that slammed into the coast. And now this past week, we all braced for the remains of Hurricane Irma, which brought tropical winds and rains that downed trees and power lines all across our area after leaving a trail of destruction in the Caribbean and Florida. As everyone tries to get their lives back to normal, we know it's a hard process for those who lost homes and property. But in the midst of these horrible times, we witnessed some things that encouraged us as we saw how neighbor helped neighbor. 
The operator of Mountain Rest Cafe opened her doors offering free meals to those who had no power or a way to cook a meal. Tracy and Sunshine Gant and many others organized collection drives and donations for those who needed help. And we saw those who tried to make displaced senior citizens feel at home after they were evacuated from their coastal home to facilities here in the upstate. And those are just three examples among many where people just did what they could to help. We also were encouraged to see the organization of public services by state and local officials who put resources where they were needed and communicated clearly to bring reassurance to all. It may not have been perfect, but it was welcome. We believe we've seen great examples of hard work, help, and hope that surround us in these hard times. And to all of you who did your part without pay or the expectation of anyone taking notice, we want you to know your neighbors saw what you did. And we all say thank you. to clean their work. <laughs> but work they did, hauling boxes full of clothing, shoes, and personal hygiene items into New Deliverance Church in Easley tonight. I mean, every little bit helps, and we actually just got started today, so um, I kind of feel like we're, we're off to a pretty good start. Gant, like the rest of us, saw the images from Texas and had a stirring in her heart. Oh, wow, that it could be us that it could be us. That was the main thing that I thought about at any given moment. You know, we could go through any type of disaster and it could be us. And because it wasn't us, she says, it puts us in a position to help. It actually came to me um, to try to get something going here locally because I hadn't heard of anybody doing anything locally. So I contacted a few local businesses and our local law enforcement and they were all on board. So that's how it got started. Drop-off locations include the Easley Police Department lobby and Ivy's Furniture locations in Easley during business hours. Gant Ministries will be accepting donations through the weekend, and then on Monday they'll box everything up and send it to Texas. John Lyon, WYFF News 4, Easley. And some Thank you, John. As people continue to donate and raise money for victims of Hurricane Harvey, one local church is already thinking about the potential impact of Hurricane Irma. Yeah, New Deliverance Church in Easley decided to extend its hurricane relief drive until September 16th. WYFF News Force Brenda McDavid with our report tonight. Tracy and Sunshine Gant started collecting donations for victims of Hurricane Harvey about a week ago. People just start pouring in and giving to us. And now their church's basement is full with everything from clothes to canned goods. You lose a home, you lose clothes, you lose food, you lose everything. Mm -hmm. And we want to be a helping hand that helps my start all over. Gant's originally planned to send a truck to Texas on September 4th, but after seeing the potential impacts of Hurricane Irma, they decided to hold off and continue collecting donations through September 16th. Just be prepared. Yeah. Just be prepared for anything. Tracy says the boxes and bags of supplies could very well end up in South Carolina, depending on the damage. Deliverance Church is partnering with Easley Police Department, Pickens County School District, and several area businesses. If you know this community, when, when you ask them for help, they're overwhelming. Everybody jumps on board. They're asking for more hygiene products. Like deodorants and toothbrushes, toothpaste, things like that. Extending a hand to a neighbor in need. This is what we do. We are an outreach church. Brandon McDavid, WYFF News 4 in Easley. And the American Red Cross is making...